So hi everyone, I am Lear and today I'm gonna show you how I use Sonar X1 LE from Cakewalk. Disclaimer, I'm not an expert on this. I am also a beginner but through my research and through other YouTube videos, I have learned how to use this. If you want more um, information or the videos that I have watched in while uh, studying this software, I can post a link down in the description box if you like. But enough of the shit I'm blabbing about, let's proceed to the tutorial. So when you open this, when you open the program, you will see this and you will open a quick start dialog box where you can open a previous project. Uh, a saved project and to uh, quickly access those saved project you can click in here and there's a list of your most recent projects and if you're if you want to create a new project then go to go and click the create new project button right here and it will open to a new project file dialog where you put your name I will use the name sample layer project so yeah I put my name on it so people would know that it's my project whatever so it will create a custom location and audio path and please make this remain tick the store project on in its own folder so here are the list of templates that you might use but as a beginner i only use for the record voice one just go directly to record voice template so then click ok after you click ok these will be opened yeah but usually i close these and these and these and also these because i don't usually use it you know i only use this i only open this when i'm mixing like i use this when i want to put uh one track's volume higher or lower or like that so yeah it's kind of now similar to audacity the simpler program i used before I just want to make it a quick tour around this area so this is the place where all the tools are um, present the select tool the move tool the edit the draw tool I don't know how this works and the raise tool and what I like most about sonar x1 le is that it has a tool that can do all these tools and that's a smart tool moving on this i don't usually use this i don't usually configure this i i don't usually use it so i'm not gonna say something about it next is where i could stop play pause and fast forward and rewind the tracks here i can go to the start of the track and the end of the track here is the time to, if you want to change it, if you're not used to the second, millisecond, I don't know what the shit is. You can change the time by clicking and then it will change to millisecond, second, and then minutes, and then hours. And here is where the metronome uh, option is located. If you want a metronome while recording, uh, click it and it will, it will appear blue and if you want to disable it you just click it so I don't like the metronome so I just leave it like that and here is when you can loop the things the tracks here is where you set the points I will show you how to loop things I will show you how to use this in the videos to come and here is if you want to mute all tracks if you want to have a solo track and if you want to enable disable the effects yeah i will discuss effects in the next video moving on here is like the main playing field uh, i want to discuss this first 
here is the media here are when you open this it has the loops some um preset loops and sample music when and you just click and drag those this is your audio library the next tab is where the audio effects or the plugins are located and here are your audio effects fx audio fx and the synths so i want to close this and here is your here is your audio track if you want to add another track you can just right click and then insert an audio track if you want insert multiple tracks set is to like 10 if you want to insert 10 tracks all at once so I'll cancel this so that's how you insert a track and here is where you restore and collapse the tracks so it will look like this one shortcut is if you want the tracks to be uh, it's like you can adjust the tracks here and here but if you want all the tracks to be presented evenly distributed in the space here you could just click the F and it will do it for you but so yeah and when I'm recording I usually um, click this uh, button change this custom button into all so I could see the effects this is the effects box where you uh, change or put the effects the volume the pan the gain and etc so if you want to select a audio track you, you select it by the number and if you want to delete it you right click and then delete track or clone it so yeah that's what I usually use if you want to delete the track select it by the number and then track delete I would discuss this is to put the track set selected on mute and then on solo if it if you want this track to be the only track you could hear or you, you don't want to hear the track you put it on mute and then here you adjust the volume which you can also do here when you're adjusting yeah notice while uh, like adjusting it here the volume of the track also changes here and if you want to like put uh, reset it to the default volume just double click it and it will be uh, in the default volume as before and then the pan is where you, the track would be more to the left or to the right of your speakers or your headphones so put it to the left more to the left to the right depending on what you want and again if you want to put it back to the way it was you just double click it and if you want so that's the only thing I use usually use when I'm recording so I'm gonna exit this again well that's it for now and I think you would just have to watch my next video if you want to learn more if you have comments you just comment it below or message me on Facebook follow me on Twitter message me on uh, ask FM whatever I'll just post my links below and I think this is it this video like helped you understand sonar x1 le but I hope it did and that's a wrap bye